Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome to another video with me, Crazy Skin Dog, and um, this is the start of 2024 um, SRK Championship. Um, first outdoor event of the year. Obviously, we raced in BRKC. You wouldn't have seen that on the channel. Some supercars going around the Cascoon track behind me. Um, you wouldn't have seen the BRKC because, quite honestly, I deleted all the footage. It was that bad. Um, terrible performance, but great experience, good fun as always. So yeah, we move on to SRK now for the season. And this round is just a prologue round, just a practice round. So no championship bearing on this one. We, uh, we're just gonna have a bit of fun up here at Castle Coombe. Um, obviously being the Swift Cooper um, team boss for the adult team. Um, this is our home track. This is where we expect to do the best all season, um, but hopefully we can start off well and continue it throughout the year. So yeah, today's just a bit of practice, get to know the team, have a bit of fun, drive around, get our eye in on the on the season, and um, yeah, have fun mostly. So three heats today, I think seven cart grids, um, which is pretty 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 high number here at Castle Coombe. But um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hope to get a decent result, and mostly just get our eye back in racing outdoors in some tricky conditions. It's quite damp. Floor is very wet. The track's still wet and slippery, even though the juniors have been blasting around it all morning. So um, yeah, it's going to be a bit tricky conditions, but hopefully we can we can hold on and win our pole heat with Sam Slater directly behind us. And the heats we start at the back, hopefully we can make some places up and score some good points. And uh, yeah, start the year off well on the outdoor uh, <laughs> side of things. So um, yeah, looking forward to it, and uh, hope you enjoy some good racing. Okay guys, so heat one, and um, it's actually eight cart grids, I uh, said the wrong number in the intro there. And as I mentioned, I'm starting pole in this one, with Sam Slater directly behind me in third. And the plan is just to kind of keep the inside line and hold him behind. We had a really good battle, whole race long. Um, the reason I'm telling you all this, whilst I'm still sat in the pit lane, is that my GoPro died about three seconds into the, into the race. Um, so yeah, no footage of it unfortunately. Managed to hold Sam off for a few laps, pulled a nice switch back overtake on the on the bottom hairpin. Did squeeze him a little bit on the chicane um, coming out of that, uh, but I expect him to back out because of the the wet patch on the left hand side that you'll see in uh, in the following heats. And then got back in front, was defending well, and then uh, I pulled a bit of a gap actually. Made a couple of mistakes though, allowed him back in, which was silly, and then. I just didn't defend. I thought I'd already defended enough, and uh, and I opened the door back up, and he just sent it up the inside, on the right-hand corner by the pit exit. Yeah, he took home uh, an easy heat win, and I I finished second though in that heat, so that was a great start. Yeah, we'll take we'll take P2 from P1, I guess, especially with Sam Slayer starting directly behind. It was always going to be a tough ask to keep him behind, but I think I should have been able to do it. But there we go, we'll jump into heat two and see how I managed to go on that one. I'm starting from eighth in this one, so big things needed. Okay, so here we are on our way to the grid. And uh, yeah, P8 start at Coombe. It's always gonna be hard to make up positions here. So we're hoping for uh, top five would be nice. But uh, yeah, we start pointing very far right because you always wanna get right. The lights go green nice and early and uh, that would be sixth. No, fifth doesn't get a very good start. And we, uh, we just follow up the inside here. We've got a bit of melee ahead. And we're on the inside line. You see that outside line is very wet there. A little bit of contact ahead that pushes down and wide. And we're going to take advantage of that. As he's got wet and slippery tyres. And we're up to third from eighth in two corners. We're going to defend the inside there. It's very easy at Coombe here to defend the, the inside line. Um, yeah, it's very hard to get around people. So if you just defend the inside, then you can very much get through and then nice and smooth round that hairpin and just kind of settling in now we know we've got Dowding and Ryan Taylor and Neil Durant behind us we take a look we see there's someone behind us there so we stay up the inside and defend that again get a little nudge from the behind at the exit that's fine we don't mind the nudge there that speeds us up and we see the top two battling so we're thinking right this is on if I can keep the guys behind then I can make a move on the on the two in front break into the hairpin here and get a nudge from behind um, yeah you see I'm not happy about that he's clearly bumped me in order to pass me but it's subtle and uh, you expect it from certain drivers we did have some good racing elsewhere in the day though so this yeah, it is what it is the marshal still knows it 
but it's fine we see slides on the wet there so off we go and we just heads down now it's forgotten about that incident we're just going to heads down go as fast as we can see if we can't make the place back up we know the top two were battling so we're going to try and tag onto the back of them and hopefully they battle and we can we can pick up the pieces going up the hill we've got Ryan behind us at this point I believe so we're going to defend we open up a little bit and Ryan sends an absolute dime of a move we try to switch back but don't get the drive back out and that's just a hell of a move from a great driver there really um, yeah there was there was literally a cart width that I opened up and he's taken it on the slippery inside got it under control and got around the corner so now we're just going to latch on the back of Ryan um, we know Ryan's really fast around here he's Coombe champion I think two years in a row now and uh, yeah so we're just going to see what opens up hopefully we can catch those guys in front as we see now Deladin's joined that two cart battle at the front to make it a three cart battle and that's definitely going to allow us me and Ryan to to catch up we've got no challenge from behind at this point I don't think so we're we are good to just attack and that's exactly what we're going to do we see second place once Deladin to work with in there to get through the guy in front and uh, yeah we'll see if that happens or not so we come to the top corner he's going to try and send it He's punted that guy out, that's not a very good move and it's given us an opportunity. Now we've dropped back a bit but now Ryan and this guy side by side and we're just going to use the barriers there and um, probably squeeze Ryan a little bit and uh, we see the guy in first ends up with a black and white as well so he's going to drop two places so if I can make up one more place I actually make two places so that's got to be the aim. So we get good drive out of there up the hill. And we're gonna we get better on the braking, but we, we kind of half go for a move that was dumb, so we we stay backed out of that. And now we're gonna try and slot back in behind. And he slides again, so I try to go around the outside. And now Ryan's gonna do exactly what I did to him, and uh, see the make me make me uh, go on the outside. But we're gonna hang it up the inside, make sure we try and leave space there. And then now we know that there's the uh, wet patch, and that gets us that position from Ryan, and we manage to hold on. Uh, that attack from Ryan, so that's some, some great battle in there. Really happy to manage to maintain that place in front of Ryan. Then we see this guy spun, he joins, rejoins unsafely, um, drives into me, gets himself stuck in the barrier. I'm not at fault at all there. Um, he should have sat there and waited for all of us to pass because uh, yeah, he spun out. And that's it, we take a P3 overall in that heat. So um, yeah, after the second place in the first heat, and P3 from 8th on the grid in the second heat, we're looking great. Just got to wait for our final heat now and see see what we can do from 4th position in that one. Okay, so now we've got heat 3 and we've got all 4 Swift Cooper uh, adult drivers in this one. Um, myself, Shane, Jake and Beauty. And um, I'm starting P4. We've got Zach Swan on pole, so he's uh, probably going to gonna pull away. And as we see, as always, from the even grid slot, point it right aggressively. And uh, yeah, but I got a feeling I should be able to battle with the, the two in front of me other than Swan. So we're going to just see what we can do. Waiting for the green light. I think we end up waiting quite a while here. And uh, there it is. Away we go. We get an average start. Second gets a poor start though. So we're going to try and sneak in between the middle. We can't quite do that. So we have to hang it around the outside. Now we're going to try and jump the chicane ahead of that guy that was on our inside, which we do manage. Get good drive out the chicane. Good drive up the hill. And we're going to send this move yes we are but unfortunately Zach's slid out and uh, and ended up parked right on the apex and we've hit him hard enough to bring us to a dead stop luckily the guys behind punted me back into uh, into motion but it did ruin that great overtake I was in the process of making but head down no penalties involved or anything like that and just uh, yeah just got to get back to it and try and make that move up I know I'm faster than this guy in front I know I can make that overtake so um, away we go and yeah, they're both going to slide there and I catch both, but then lose the momentum because I have to break again on the apex that caught them up so much under braking. And uh, yeah, they're both sliding around a lot ahead, so we're going to hopefully try and capitalise on that at some point and make an overtake. We'll have to see how it goes, but without battling too much and, and giving ourselves trouble from behind. And I think by this point, Bertie's behind me. Um, and uh, he's my teammate, I know he's a fair racer, so I know that there's not going to be any any trouble from that but he's also fast so uh, I've still got to try and keep him behind and we see again a slide from the guy in front that allows us to catch up a bit top two starting to pull away now because they're not battling too much and this guy in third sliding around but now it looks like Zach's going to start making a move so hopefully that will give us an opportunity they go side by side there and second place is on the wet stuff spins out and uh, yeah that guy in front makes a void in action and I managed to uh, to stay pointing forwards but don't manage to make up the place on him 
in the end but we do gain a place from that guy spinning and uh, his head's down again and we got a, a splatter of mud right in the middle of the camera there so um, yeah that's uh, that's convenient just nice and tidy at this point I'm going to try and make back that little bit of time we've lost to the guy that's now in second through that incident but uh, yeah we'll see someone rot on our tail there so we're going to go half defensive it's not sent it thankfully so yeah now it's just head down try and try and see what we can make up and he slid once again there in second he's really struggling with that corner out of the pit exit unfortunately there's not really anywhere to capitalize on it unless they fully spin especially from that far back but we're definitely catching now so we're gonna gonna hopefully catch him before the end of the heat and see if we can get another position up into p2 now this position here because this is the last heat i already knew that if i finished third I was third overall in the A final and if I finished second I was tied with Neil Durant on points I believe it was and uh, and it went down to the fastest lap which I believe I already had a faster lap than him before the start of this heat um, from what I checked on the scoreboard so yeah this overtake is for a starting position in the final so we're going to definitely try and make it and see what we can uh, see what we can do if we can start P2 in the A final that would be amazing and there we go he goes wide and I just send it up the inside we leave him space on the inside and that is an overtake made and whoa, beautiful I knew he'd been sliding there so as soon as he started to go left I just trusted that he was going to lose grip slide out a little bit and open the door for me and now his head's down try and catch Zach but it's, it's probably not going to happen in the lap or so that we've got left so it's just yeah head down go fast see what see what comes about we now know that we've uh, secured that P2 in the, in the A final and uh, the P1 wasn't possible anyway because Sam Starr had a hell of a day and there we go, a fist pump. We're well happy with that, knowing that that has put us up well. Thumbs up to Zach there, thumbs up to go behind. And uh, yeah, what a way to finish the heats. So let's jump into that post heats vlog and uh, see how I felt at the time. Okay guys, so that's the heats done. Uh, what a trio of heats. So you don't see heat one, unfortunately, because the camera died after two seconds of the, uh, the race start. Uh, had a great battle with Sam Slater. Managed to get a switch back overtake on him, um, but then left the door open for him to overtake me back uh, later in the heat. So that wasn't ideal, but P2 in heat one, we'll take that. And then two absolutely fantastic heats. Um, the second heat, I mean, I, I don't know what that start was. That was obscene. Um, up to P3 from P8 uh, by the exit of the chicane on lap one. And dropped to P5 mid-race, but then just got my elbows out, started racing. Um, kind of just still respectfully but also just believing in myself to beat those guys that, that are normally ahead of me, admittedly. But a bit of belief, a bit of speed, and, uh, and there we are. Penalty ahead, bumped us up to third, so that was, that was a very good finish. And then that last heat, again, just got the elbows out, raced around. Let's talk to Shane. Hi, Shane. <laughs> yeah, how's it going? Yeah, wonderful. Having fun in the prologue? Yeah, yeah. spun round into spun round. heat one, second, in, second race, and then... Yeah car didn't move off the line that's <laughs> okay at coom sometimes right i'm <laughs> over the moon because it's gone great you've had some bad bad uh, yes, bad instance in it when it drops but it's still fun yeah <laughs> that's what it's about fun but i'm starting p2 in the final a final p2 highest ever start <laughs> so yeah i'm surrounded by bsr as you would expect um seb's gonna murder us all and i got sam slater in front to the right and neil durant behind to the right so um yeah, we're going to slot in between Sam and Neil and see what happens. Hope Seb doesn't kill us and hopefully walk away with the trophy. Okay guys, so this is it. P2 start in an A final in an SRK event. This is the first time ever starting so high up in an A final. Um, as you would expect, all the big guns around, that aggressive right hand point from P2 on the grid there, stating my intention from the start. <laughs> Sam telling me he's going to have to get elbows out because his car isn't getting off the line. And uh, yeah, Neil's, Neil thinks he's got a donkey, so um, yeah, we'll have to see what happens. But we've got Sam Swar right there, Neil in third, we've got Seb Miller directly behind us in fourth, our teammate Bert is in fifth, so and there we go, green light, where we're going. Sam does indeed get a pretty poor start, so I'm gonna have to try and hang it around the outside. I wanted to slot in between him and Neil, but it wasn't there, so now we're gonna try and do that here, which we do manage to do. We drive across and cut in front of where Neil was gonna be. And uh, we're right on Sam's tail. We get better drive through the hairpin, actually. But he's obviously going to defend that inside line. So we take the racing line and try and switch back up the underneath. Get a bit of drive, but not quite. And he covers up, covers us off there. 
and then it's back into single file for this part there's no no getting through there but we're sticking on the back of Sam Slater's tail here so we're just going to try and keep doing that see if anything opens up in front of us through the chicane here and Sam just slides out that patch of water wasn't there before the lap before there was an instant lap one that spilt that piece of water Sam just clipped it and it slid into the barrier and uh, absolute chaos behind as well as Neil and Seb try to uh, we see how tight the barrier is to uh, to my side of the track there um, yeah Seb tried to make a move on Sam and Neil after after all that melee and it's caused absolute chaos behind me and I see nobody I look at my shoulder and see nobody I'm, I can't believe it I expect someone to be somewhere near me but as we see there the kind of fallen back a bit so um, it's just heads down and go and yeah not gonna lie we're probably just gonna skip to the end of this one because as amazing it was for me at the time it's just this the the gap I build is unbelievable by by the end of the race I'm I'm up at the top corner whilst they're in the chicane this is just unheard of I don't know don't know what happened there we go there's Sam um, not even entering the, the top corner as I'm coming out so um, yeah that's that's the race one just got to not make any mistakes which I don't and just head down drive and yeah we'll skip to the end So apologies to any young ears there, but as you can tell, I was uh, very happy with that result. And uh, yeah, took a SRK event win. It may only be the prologue, but the top drivers were still there, still had to perform, and hopefully it sets us up nicely for round one coming next month. Thank you, thank you, donkey. Okay, guys. So that is the end of the SRK prologue, and. We got a trophy, first place, um, starting P2 at Coombe is always tough, that outside line um, you've got to try and get right as soon as possible. And the plan from the start was to slot in behind Sam, but I just got, got a good drive so I thought I'd battle it out, um, had to concede it initially, but then just kept on his tail and uh, turns out one of my teammates, Bertie, had uh, been forced into the wall the lap before. And uh, yeah, fortunately for me, unfortunately for Sam, I feel gutted for him. The uh, the puddle caught him out, and uh, and he just drifted off into the wall. And that puddle wasn't there the lap before, so it, it was a complete surprise to him. I had the joy of being the second one to to hit it, so I saw what had happened to him and could get out of the way. Um, and then just head down, drive as fast as I can, and uh, yeah, create the gap. In the end, the gap was huge because Neil, behind the uh, the Minister of Defence, he uh, he defended like an animal in a, in a bit of a rubbish cart, and they were all battling behind, and that just opened the gap right up for me, and it was a cruise to victory. Um, you saw what it mean at the end. That is my best result, hands down. Um, yeah, beating beating that calibre of field throughout the day. Well happy with that. Unfortunately, it doesn't count towards a championship. It's just a trophy for the shelf, but uh, well happy with that result. And um, yeah, just got to do it again next month in round one. And hopefully we can. And hopefully the team, Bertie as well, got fourth place nearly on the podium with me. So that was really good, dropped the bag. Um, now I have the pleasure of unsticking my van from the grass parking at Coombe. So that'll be fun. A life of a winner, hey? Eh?